Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm Zeke, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. It is the summertime. It is about to be hot outside, and a lot of people are about to start traveling on vacation and going to these beaches. Now, in this video, I'm gonna be bringing you guys the four stocks, the four dividend stocks I'm gonna be investing into this summer because they should, you know, they're kind of like summer stocks, and they should perform pretty well during the summer. But this is on top of the dividend stocks that I'm already buying, like Apple, Microsoft, Johnson & Johnson, stuff like that. I'm gonna I'm be buying those dividend stocks, of course, but these four dividend stocks are gonna be my summer list that should perform pretty well in the summer based off of just what people do in the summer, right? So a couple things people do in the summer, they travel, so you might wanna look at airline stocks like um, Southwest Airlines or Delta Airlines. They, go, they stay in hotels. You could go to the Hilton Hotels. What hotel dividend stocks might you invest into, right? You could look at restaurants, home improvement stores like Lowe's and Home Depot. People start working on their backyards in the summertime, so you could look at home improvement stores Stores like Home Depot and Lowe's. And once again, people are getting inside their cars and doing road trips to go see the Grand Canyon. So you can look at oil and gas companies or even renewable energy companies that have to do with uh, solar cars or solar panels or something like that, right? For free energy because that sun is kicking in the summer and solar panels need that sun, right? So in this video, I'm gonna give you guys my four summer dividend stocks that I'm gonna be investing into this summer that should perform decently well. Hopefully they go up just a little bit this summer through September, take my profits, and then go ahead and see what my next setup is gonna be. So if you guys are ready to see the top four, go ahead, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on any future videos and hit that notification bell. If you wanna help out this channel for completely free, hit that notification bell and hit that thumbs up button that helps me out more than you guys can possibly even imagine. Now, this video is brought to you by Moomoo. If you guys do want to start in dividend investing, you can use Moomoo as your platform. If you sign up, click the link in the description, deposit $100, you could get up to 15 free stocks from using my link down in the description. Also on there, they got a 5.1 cash reap interest just from holding cash inside your portfolio. You got commission-free trading. You got access to amazing advanced tools on there to help you become a, a better trader. You got access to the early market hours, the aftermarket hours, the overseas um, stocks. If you guys want to, if you're interested inside that, that link is going to be down in the description. Click that. Also, if you want more free stocks, I'm going to leave a link down to Weeble down in the description. You sign up, deposit even a dollar, and you can receive up to 12 free stocks, I believe. Now, they might have changed it up a little bit, but both of those links are going to be down in the description. Sign up for uh, Weeble, deposit your money, get your free stocks. You can either sell your free stocks and withdraw all of your money, or you could keep your free stocks inside the portfolio and decide to use it. Um, guys, it's literally free money. Do not miss out on that opportunity. But no talking, let's go ahead and dive straight into this video. Welcome back, Dreamers. Now, the first one that I was gonna bring you guys, I was trying to look for an airline stock, but I, after doing further research that they really wasn't performing that well in the month of June, July, August, September. They was doing okay over the last 10 years. So I'm just gonna skip that and go over to what I'm actually doing myself so will be home improvement. I've been working in my yard a lot, in the front yard, the back yard, had to buy a new lawnmower, an edger, some weed eater, all of that. And you know, you wanna throw down your mulch, get your grass green. A lot of people start working on their yards in the spring and the summer and or start doing some more home improvements that they get a little bit more time on their hands. So the first one that we're gonna pull up if I had to choose between the two of the home improvement stores of Home Depot and Lowe's, I'm going to rock with Lowe's. So let's pull up Lowe's right quick. You guys see they're at $218 over the last five years. They're up 120%. So not only do they perform well during the summertime, they perform well yearly. They've been performing pretty good over the last couple of years. But if we take a look over the last year, um, they started off in what, June around $217 and they went all the way up to around $233 by September. So they've been doing pretty good, but we take a look at their dividends, right? This is their dividends. They have a dividend growth of 60 years, making them dividend kings. Dividend kings is when a company is inside the S&P 500 and increase their dividends every single year for the last 50 years. Lowe's have been doing it for the last 60 years, longer than us. Um, most of us have even been alive. It is very rare to find good dividend kings. It's very rare to find a dividend king, first of all. It's even rare to find a good dividend king. They have a dividend yield of 2.1%, which might not be high for you, but it's high for me because look at that five-year growth rate. It is 18%. 18%, that's completely insane. Let me show you guys uh, the dividend yield. If we go to the dividend yield on cost and we click on max, 
um right there uh if we start investing side lows 30 years ago in 1994 our yield on cost would be 106 percent we'll be making more money than our initial investments in dividends that means we invested ten thousand dollars in lows in 1994 uh we would be making around a uh, twelve thousand eleven thousand dollars in dividends every single year from that one-time investment so uh we'll be making more in dividends today than our initial our one-time initial investment on lows because the yield on cost just increases over time and that's what we're looking for that dividend growth completely insane that they have a dividend scorecard on growth rate of 18 percent average over the last five years and they have a dividend growth of 60 now now lows is a quarterly paying dividend stock that means you will receive your dividends every single quarter uh, or once every three months or four times a year the next one that we was going to look at was hilton's because people like to travel stay in hotels when they go on vacations um hilton was htl uh, now hilton is uh, been doing an amazing job over the last year they're up 52 percent five years they're up 122 percent but if we look at their dividends they have a pretty low dividend yield um 0.28 percent payout quarterly zero dividend growth rate zero percent five-year growth not the kind of dividends that we're looking for a good growth company so another hotel company that we could look for would be wh now over the last year they're up 11 percent and over the last five years they're up 31 percent not quite as good as hilton but if we look at their dividends here we go with two percent dividend yield six percent growth rate and they've been increasing their dividends every single year for the last three years so if you guys are looking for a little bit of a higher dividend yield in a good hotel company um that's not hilton me personally personally I would probably grab Hilton, but if we're growing our dividends this summer, just for this create a little extra passive income, I wouldn't mind picking up a couple of shares of WM. Um, this hotel company, they got resorts. People are going on vacation more in the summertime. They've been performing pretty well over the last five years. This might be a good one to actually dive into and pick up a couple of shares. The next one would be, um, let's say I was looking for solar panel companies. One of the ones that I came across that was doing pretty doggone good was f s l r um it's the first solar that deal with solar panels over the last year they're up 40 percent five years they're up 300 percent completely killing it they've been doing pretty good but they do not pay dividends so i was trying to look for something that has to do with electronics um semiconductors something to do with solar panels and one that i came across was a x x it had to do with semiconductors and as you guys know all semiconductor companies have been doing pretty good over the last couple of years over the last year they're up 30 percent the last five years they're up 186 percent completely insane that even though all these semiconductor companies are performing pretty good um they're being used in every product so every product that's being produced out there a lot of products that's being produced out there got to use these chips and it's a semiconductor company and we'll take a look at their dividends they probably have the highest dividends on this list they have been increasing their dividends for the last three years but they don't have a five-year growth rate but they have a good dividend yield of 4.89 percent which probably is the highest on this list um, the only downside to this is that they pay out their dividends annually so it's just one time a year very rare to find a company that just pays out their dividends once a year but this one pays out their dividends annually and let's move over to the last one which is going to be an oil and gas company because boy them road trips be road tripping i'm telling you they be road tripping over the last couple of years um last year that was up nine percent last five years they're up 50 percent we take a look at their dividends they have a growth rate of two percent been increasing their dividends every single year for the last 25 years now you guys know what that means that makes them dividend aristocrats that means they've been increasing their dividends every single year for the last 25 years so uh, remember lowe's is a dividend king and exxon mobile is a dividend um aristocrat 25 years versus 50 years now they have a dividend yield of 3.3 two percent and they pay out every single quarter so all these road trips we're gonna take a trip to vegas we're gonna take a trip to florida we're gonna drive to the grand canyon we're gonna drive to new york we're gonna do this we're gonna do that and it's gonna take some million gas right so people like to take trips in the summertime that's when they go on vacation so i could see um this oil and gas company performing pretty well pretty good in the summertime so that's going to be the number four on this list which is um exxon mobil and that's it dreamers that is the four summer stocks that we're going to be looking into like i said 
I'm already investing inside other dividend stocks that I continually dollar cost average in on the daily. But I think these four summer dividend stocks should perform pretty well in the summertime, right? If you think about it, right? If you think about it, people work on their houses in the summertime. They 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 go on vacations and stay at these hotels in the summertime. You know, you drive on your vacations to the summer times and things like that, right? It should perform pretty well. If we get in at a good price, we could ride the wave up through September and see what we want to do from there. If we want to rebalance our portfolio, uh, get a couple of dividend, uh, dividend paychecks during the time, or if we want to continue to build out our positions for this to get prepared for the next following for the next couple of summers, right? Um, these stocks that I brought you are some of them are pretty good. You know, you got your dividend kings and you got your dividend aristocrats. Some of them are pretty good. And some of them are unproven, only increasing their dividends uh, for three years, right? So let me know down in the comment section, which one of those four would you buy? Would you buy all four? Would you only buy two? Would you only buy one? Or would you buy none? And you throw your own in there. Which one would you do? Would you stick with the airline stocks? I don't know. You guys let me know what would you do down in the comment section. Can't wait to read your guys' comments. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to this channel hit that notification bell that notification bell is the freest way and easiest way to help a content creator like me out and it's completely free it's just a click of the button guys very simple now as a way for me saying thank you for subscribing thank you for hitting the thumbs up button and for the ones that hit that notification bell i'm going to give you my free mastering dividends ebook completely free that link is going to be down in the pin comment section Scott Mastering Dividends is going to teach you about everything about dividends that I can't talk about in a simple video. So as a former saying, thank you. I'm giving you a free ebook. Click that down in the um, comment section. Get that, read that, and you guys are going to learn everything about dividends that you need to know completely free. It took me a while to make that, and I'm giving it out free. That's crazy. Yeah, I'm giving it out to you guys for free. That's crazy. So if you guys want to check that out, that's going to be down in the pinned comment section. But yeah, um, don't forget to pick up your free stocks with Wumu down in the description, and don't forget to pick up your free stocks with Weeble down in the description. But other than that, I'm Zeke, bringing you the Dream Green Show, and I'm out. Peace.